And Mark, that woman told me at first when she saw this plane, she thought it was some sort of acrobatic plane, but quickly realized that something was wrong. Now, federal investigators are headed to this scene. We know that two men died here, the pilot and a passenger. And this was something that we also know was a close call for one person on the ground. The small plane crashed just after two this afternoon on private property. The crash happened near Santa Paula Airport, but we don't know if the plane was heading to or had taken off from that airport when it went down. Flames erupting after the plane slammed into a storage shed. Now, authorities say this was a kit plane, or in other words, a home-built plane. A witness told me the plane appeared to spiral sideways moments before crashing. And a plane was flying by, and I'm like, oh, look, he's going to do some tricks for you. And she said, that's not a trick. And then there was a kaboom. And so we all just jumped up, and I yelled for my son, who's a firefighter, and we all ran across the street to see if we could help. There was a gentleman on this property behind me spraying some plants uh, with a portable sprayer, and he heard the plane coming in, looked up, saw it going north to south at a very low altitude, and he literally put his sprayer down and ran. And where his sprayer ended up to where the wreckage is now of the plane is probably about 50 feet. We're told there are a couple of homes on the property, but again, no one on the ground was hurt in the crash. And right now, we don't have any information about the two men who died. However, as we come back out here live, the coroner is here at this point, and NTSB investigators are heading in from Sacramento to try and figure out what caused this fatal crash.